our series, Flipping the Script, featuring people on screen, on stage, and behind the scenes, shining a spotlight on diversity. Enter Megan Pyfus Peace, the multi-talented artist made history when she became Sesame Street's first full-time black female puppeteer. She's on a mission to inspire future generations, one puppet at a time. Yourself, what do you say you are? I am a... I am an artist, but I'm also a puppeteer and a ventriloquist. Do you even have the words to describe what it means to be on Sesame Street? Living in my childhood imagination. <laughs> I'm basically walking into my dream of being able to hug Elmo and walk on the steps of the 123 building. Megan Pyfus Peace's path to Sesame Street was paved at a young age. That, 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 that don't kill me can only make me stronger. <laughs> After high school graduation, she delivered the valedictorian speech with a little help. <laughs> and nearly a decade ago, she performed on America's Got Talent. You don't just talk, you sing. I learned after a couple of years of doing ventriloquism, I was like, hey, if I can talk without moving my lips, I can sing because the sound is coming from the same place. <laughs> It's hard enough to sing Whitney Houston moving your lips. Mm -hmm. You do it without moving your yeah. lips. Yeah, took lots of practice and time in the mirror and alone. <laughs> what is it you see in people's faces and people's eyes when you're doing what you do? Oh, my favorite part of performing is the reactions of the audience. I love watching and seeing the smiles of kids watching the puppet. And I love the moment where I disappeared, where they're so in love with the puppet and the character that they believe they're real and Megan doesn't exist anymore. This character is living on its own. You've made history on Sesame Street. You are the first full-time black puppeteer. What what does that mean to you? It means opening the doors for other puppeteers of color to come onto Sesame Street. And I'm hoping that it inspires other girls that look like me to pursue very unique career fields. What's your best advice to those girls or young women of color who are looking at you right now and saying, I want to do that. I want to be just like you. Oh, message me. I'll teach you how. <laughs> Even if, you know, you don't see yourself as a full-time puppeteer, I think um, learning puppetry l helps you learn how to express yourself and helps you show a different side of yourself. Um, by doing puppetry, I've been able to say things I normally wouldn't get away with saying. Like? <laughs> can, yeah, I'm, I'm very <laughs> soft-spoken. I can be loud. I can be brash. And it really helped me open up and express myself. I'm Gabrielle. And I am! Talk about your puppet on Sesame Street. What should we know about uh, her? My puppet on Sesame Street is Gabrielle. She is a beautiful six-year-old um, black girl Muppet, and she lives with her grandparents and her parents, and Gabrielle loves to sing and to dance. What does Gabrielle bring to Sesame Street? Gabrielle brings an unwavering sense of self-confidence and love of community. When someone is not let in because of the color of their skin, she brings a lot of life, and she says love a lot. I love, and so she brings lots of love and joy, and I love that she just gets to be a normal six-year-old girl on the street. Of course, Gabrielle is not her only puppet. I am the Reverend Pastor Bishop Ambassador Matthew Marco Luca John Atita Tata Tita Teka Tickle Tetas. And like Whitney Houston, the Reverend can belt a tune. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks to Megan. Of course, you can always catch her and Gabrielle on Sesame Street. Megan also told us she's working on a children's album. So cool. What a talent, huh? <laughs> Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.